Two people are dead, several others are hurt. We are going to bring you live team coverage tonight, beginning with our Kayla Schmidt, who's been on the scene all day. Kayla. Yes, Alicia Valerie, within the last hour, police started taking off the caution tape. They put up nine hours earlier due to a deadly shooting at a home I am now standing right in front of. And tonight we're learning more details about what really happened here. At 7 a.m., police responded to Liberty Street for a report of a person in distress. That's when a girl ran up to police and motioned for them to enter her home, says Dauphin County DA Fran Chardo. There were uh, three uh, uh, victims of gunshot wounds uh, and uh, two resulted in death. And then there are uh, two other victims that were not shot. Those two victims not shot, Charter was able to confirm were two children. The others are all adults. The injured survivors were taken to area hospitals and neighbors were shocked by what they woke up to. This is the most quiet street of them all. Out of all Harrisburg, like this seems the safest street and everything. And well, you hear about shootings and stuff, but never on this street, ever. So it's like, can you walk out your door, really? anywhere anymore. Another neighbor has lived on the street for 44 years. She says she was fond of the victims. She asks for prayers for the community. I describe this neighborhood as family. As I said, most people that have lived here have been here for years. After the shooting, security footage from a neighbor's camera shows the suspect fleeing the scene in what Chardo confirms was a stolen vehicle. The big thing we're waiting for now is those charging documents, charging documents, excuse me, which will have a lot more details about what happened here. Franchardo expects them sometime today. Live in Harrisburg, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News. Kayla, thank you very much for that info. Now let's head to our Sonica Barago to continue our team coverage with more on how this dangerous situation ended. Sonica joins us live in Lower Swadera Township. Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, Lower Soterra Township Police Department was just one agency that took part in a chase ending in Londonderry Township. That suspect crashed into a school bus and was then taken into custody. At least three law enforcement agencies joined a police chase related to a homicide investigation in Harrisburg. I just want to commend the uh, the police officers involved. That pursuit ended in Londonderry Township when investigators say the suspect crashed into a Lower Dauphin School District bus. The students on board attend Mount Calvary Christian School. According to the school, eight students were on the bus. None of them was hurt. In addition to murder charges, Dauphin County District Attorney Fran Chardo says the suspect could face charges related to the crash. I anticipate we'll charge aggravated assault and, and you know, other vehicle code offenses. Chardo also confirmed the car the suspect was driving was stolen, though he could not say where it was stolen from. And we're going to charge him with theft uh, for that. One Lower Swatera Township police officer was hurt in the crash. Chardo said the officer was putting down stop strips when he was hit by the fleeing car. The officer is expected to recover. He was very, very lucky. I mean, he was struck by, uh, a, uh, by, a, by a car, and it could have been a lot worse. No one from Mount Calvary Christian School would go on camera, but the school did send me a statement confirming students were checked by EMS and a school nurse from Londonderry Elementary School before being put on another bus and taken back to school. Staff from Mount Calvary were also at the scene to comfort students. Live in Lower Soterra Township, Dauphin County, Sonica Vargo, ABC 27 News.